Taking a disturbing turn for the worse here for a Provo family after their kids knocked on the door of a registered sex offender. Well, that man is now behind bars after exposing himself to trick-or-treaters, and court records show this isn't the first time. KSL's Morgan Wolf spoke to the family that reported this man to police. This man is 48 years old and he is a registered sex offender. He was arrested on Saturday for lewdness involving a child and those charges were enhanced given his history. A night that was meant to be for fun turned into trauma for a family trick-or-treating. We aren't sharing the father's identity, but he told me that his four children, ages 16 to 4, were going door-to-door -door down 460th South. His kids told him that a man answered the door naked. His first reaction as a father wasn't a nice one, but he decided to record everything for police to investigate. In this moment, was uh, asking, why are you naked? Once police arrived, they saw the video and arrested Stephen Little. He had actually uh, told the officers that he had answered the door in the nude because he had just gotten out of the shower and somebody came to the door and that was his uh, reasonable uh, reaction to that. My name is Morgan Wolf. I'm with KSL TV. Uh -huh. I spoke to Little's brother who says that he suffers from a mental illness and within the last year his caretaker died. The family has been trying to get him into a facility since. Little was arrested in 2018 for exposing himself to children at the Provo Rec Center and is on parole. Fez isso não porque ele tem um problema mental. The father says that his children are traumatized. He didn't want to continue doing trick or treat yesterday. He's going to have to go and review his case with a judge from his previous offenses that are going to get brought back into play and now the new current offenses as well. So I'm thinking at this point it's very likely that he's going to serve some, some substantial jail or prison time. Little was taken in for a 72 hour hold and keep in mind these charges were enhanced so that means that they are now upgraded to felony charges. Another thing that officers say is just a good reminder for people around Halloween is to check to see if there are sex offenders that live around you because during Halloween weekends and the actual holiday they're supposed to turn off their lights and not answer the door to any trick-or-treaters. In Provo, Morgan Wolf, KSL 5 News.